Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tank here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the XAPLFX1 underscore 5 DLL error you are experiencing on your Windows computer, where it says that this DLL file is either not designed to run on Windows or it contains an error. Try installing the program again using the original installation media or contact your system administrator or the software vendor for support and then it gives you back this error message that we already knew. So we're going to go about how to resolve this and we're going to go jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up a web browser of our choosing. I usually like opening up Google Chrome for these tutorials, which we're going to make no exception for today. And you want to navigate over to google.com and into Google you want to go search up DirectX and user runtime web installer and just search for that. Best website result should come back with Microsoft.com. You want to make sure you're getting it from Microsoft domain. And it should take down DirectX and user runtime web installer. Go ahead and left click on it to open up that link. And once you've selected your correct language, which should be English by default if you're watching this video, you want to go select the download button. It should be an orange box. So go ahead and left click on that. And just give it a moment here. Should be pretty quick install or download. Go ahead and select it to run it. It should be a verified publisher, Microsoft Corporation. Go ahead and select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. It's going to say welcome to setup for DirectX. The DirectX setup wizard guides you through the installation DirectX runtime components. Please read the following license agreement. Press page down key to see the rest of the agreement. You must accept the agreement to continue the setup. And rather than reading this entire agreement, I'm just going to say that we all read it, and you should read it, I guess. And and once you're done reading through the agreement, you want to go accept the agreement here. So just click inside that circle, and then select next. I'm going to uncheck the box to install the Bing bar because I don't believe it's necessary for this. And then I'm going to select next again, and just give it a moment here. And going to select to next.
Okay, so it's the installation complete. The components installed are now ready for use. So I'll to finish. So I would suggest restart your computer, and then that should pretty much be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.